Hello everyone, my name is Jason Gregerson, and this video is going to be Introduction to Vector Properties. In this video, we have the two following goals. We want to introduce properties of vector operations and model a proof of vector properties. We'll start by looking at a vector equation. If I have u is equal to the vector 1, 1, and v is equal to the vector 3, 2, find a vector w such that 4u plus 2w equals 6v. Now, if we look at this problem, it might be very tempting to solve this algebraically. If I want to find out what w is, I might subtract 4u from both sides to get an expression that looks like this. And then I might multiply both sides of the equation by a half. If I multiply both sides by a half, I would get this equation. And then I would get 3v minus 2u. And then that way, I could find out what the vector w is by plugging in the vectors v and u and calculating the result. But I should be careful. Can I really do this algebra with vectors? Well, if you look at the exact same equation, but replace the vectors with just variables, u, w, and v, that are not vectors, but just real numbers, we can, of course, do these same operations. For instance, I would subtract 4u from both sides to get 2w equals 6v minus 4u. But the reason I'm able to do that when these are just real numbers is because if 4u is just a real number, and the fancy way to write this would be to say if 4u belongs to the set of all real numbers, so this means belongs to, then I know that there exists some other real number, which I will call negative for u such that, st is my shortcut notation for such that, for u plus this other real number, negative for u, is equal to 0, where 0 is the additive identity. Now that might sound obvious to us. We know that if I have a number 2, that there exists a negative 2, where I could add negative 2 to get 0. But that's something we know about real numbers, but we don't necessarily know that yet about vectors. So these are the algebraic properties that we take for granted for real numbers, but we need to make sure that those still apply to our vectors. And now we're going to introduce those exact properties. So these are the algebraic properties of Rn. So this tells us that for any vectors u, v, w, and Rn, and all scalars c and d, the following properties are true. Now let's look at a couple of these properties and just look at a couple examples, maybe in R2, of what these properties are saying. The first property is the commutativity of vector addition. So if I look at an example in R2, if I took two vectors in R2, 2, 1, and 3, 1, this property just says that it doesn't matter the order I add them. It's the same as the vector 3, 1 plus the vector 2, 1. If I look at another example down here for number 5, this is I'm distributing scalar values over vector addition. And so an example of what this might look like is if I had 2 times the quantity 2, 1 plus 3, 1. This is just the same thing as 2 times the first vector plus 2 times the second vector. And because I know how to multiply vectors by scalars, this is just the vector 4, 2 plus the vector 6, 1. And then I know how to do my vector addition that will finally lead me to the vector 10, 3. So I can do all these operations now because I have these vector properties. So one thing I'm just going to state here, and we're going to go into much more detail later, but we're talking about a vector space called Rn. And right now, we're, our goal will be to show that in Rn, all of these properties are true. But later in the course, we're going to try to generalize our understanding of vector and vector spaces. So we're going to work with a lot of vectors in R2 and very, be very comfortable with doing some operations, finding out how long they are, and doing kinds of application problems with these kind of vectors. But later, we're going to extend these ideas to other vector spaces that could contain functions or matrices or other things. We're going to define what we mean by vector addition and scalar multiplication in those spaces. And then our goal will be to show that all these properties are true. And if all these properties are true, that collection of stuff will end up to be a vector space. But for now, let's just take a look at one of these properties in more detail and see if we can prove that it actually is true. 
So now I'm going to prove the very first property, just so you can see an example of this type of proof. So if I take two vectors, u and v, that are in Rn, then I want to prove that u plus v is equal to v plus u. So I'll start off with u plus v. And my goal is to show that this is equal to v plus u. Now u plus v, if I just write this out in the general no vector notation, I'm going to describe that vector u as just a list of n values. And each one of those values inside of those are real numbers. So I'm talking about the real number u1, the real number u2, so on and so forth down to un. I'm just trying to add that vector to the vector v1, v2, dot, 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 all the way down to vn. And I know how to do that addition. Because of the definition of vector addition, I can say that the sum of these two vectors is u1 plus v1, u2 plus v2, dot, 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 un plus vn. So I can say that these two sides are equal based on or by the definition of vector addition. But I know that when I add u1 plus v1, because both of those are just real numbers, that this statement is the same as v1 plus u1, v2 plus u2, plus dot, 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 u, sorry, dot, 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 vn plus un. Now, why am I allowed to do that operation? Because each one of those are just real numbers. And I know that I can switch the order of that addition by the commutativity of addition in R. So I know real numbers, I know addition in real numbers is commutative, so I can switch those values. But now I can take this expression and rewrite it as the vector, the vector v1, v2, dot, 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 vn, plus the vector u1, u2, dot, 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 un, once again, by the definition, and I'll use some shorthand here, the definition of vector addition. So the definition of vector addition says that this thing is the same as this thing. This is how I do addition. And of course, if I just clean up my notation here, this is just equal to v plus u. So in three steps, I've shown that u plus v is equal to v plus u, and that completes this proof. So in this video, we've looked at why we need these algebraic properties of Rn, because we want to solve equations that contain vectors. We've also looked at all the specific algebraic properties and some examples. And lastly, we've done a proof of the very first property. And so many of the other proofs will follow the same idea of working with the definitions of vector addition and vector scalar multiplication, and just using the properties of real numbers that we know. And this concludes this video on vector properties.